Hello, Internet! It's Color Farty back for more Pup and Pep's Dog on a Stick. Praise be to God! So today, we only actually have four worlds left in the game, so let's start out... That oil sure looks slippery! ...with the gigantic greenhouse. So, it's a flower world. We can jump on flowers, and these are billy goats. So, they kind of behave like the bears, except they're not affected by oil or the green slime stuff. So, yeah, that makes them a bit more intimidating than the bears or the cats, but they're still not too bad. Let's try getting Super Pep, shall we? Don't ask me why the flowers are slippery with oil. Pollution, it's not a happy story. Well, the two Billy Goats Gruff are gone, so... 16 lives. Awesome! I wonder what that glowing thing does! I love this music so much. And I love just this world. It's so beautiful. Okay... This'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not really- I don't care that much about five extra points. Ooh, the roses are beautiful. Unfortunately, frog on a sticks are not gonna be fun. Because they could choose to jump over that gap if they wanted to. Hey, froggy baby! This world is just so beautiful. Like, who wouldn't love an arboretum as a world? Or I guess a greenhouse. And yeah, this is where the game gets crazy with the oil slicks. Oh wow, the frog just jumped off a cliff of his own accord. So did that one! Okay! <laughs> Man, those frogs be dumb. Just a bit. I think I went the wrong way at the start. Took me ages to get all those bones. Oh well. The larger the level, the more the bonus points you get. Yeah, those roses are just really, really nicely drawn. They almost look lifelike. Man, there's just oil everywhere in this world. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, this is the level that kind of teaches you to jump through enemies. If you didn't already know how to do that. I suppose you could go on the oil slicks, but I mean... That's also risky. All right. Oh yeah, sure enough, there is a lemon on this level. Okay, if I, I just want to say, if I was one of the designers of the game, I probably would have been a bit more sinister in hiding the bonus level uh, activators. Like I'd put them on oil slicks and sticky stuff, all that. I don't like how intelligent the frogs are being. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, wow, the frogs just love jumping off the cliff, apparently. And we get a beautiful sunflower as the bonus level. No oil, please. Cool! Hurry up and go catch all those presents! I had almost forgotten about trampolines. I'm getting the purple one first. Oh, thank you. 
Get back here, you present! Thank you! Yahoo! Five presents, that's cool! The buttons blend in on this world a lot. It looks just like the center of a flower. So I think we just have to push all the buttons to make uh, a path to the exit. Oh, thank you! Yeah. Always be wary of what the frogs are doing. Uh-oh. We gotta beat him before he gets the, to the button. Woohoo! Yeah, but this part of the song in particular is really, really beautiful. Dog on a Stick in particular is really good about making cool worlds. Besides the Bongo Jungle, I like pretty much every world in this. Pep's just like eating so many bones in this. <laughs> and he's eating them like instantaneously. Oh no! That was my bad. Thank goodness he did a big jump. <laughs> Thanks for goodness he did a big jump again. Yeah! Oh no. Not the living blobs again. You gotta be careful when jumping in the teleporter that the blobs aren't going to be right on top of him. Like that. No! Really got to be careful around those blobs. Especially because they are not affected by the slime. When they get off sync, it also worries me. No! Oh, these crazy teleporters. Thank you. Oh, Super Pup is gonna be very helpful. Oh, no, no, no! Cursed blobs. Cool. Super Pep's taking his revenge, Blobs. You better believe he is. How do you guys like it? Huh? Super Pep! Bless you for existing. Oh boy, pigs and targets are back. Oh great, there are buttons that the pigs push as well. Oh bother. Or I guess I should say, oh do 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 How do the pigs have such endearing designs as well? Well, 
the pigs at least appear to just do whatever the heck they want. They're not out for your blood exclusively. But that one pig's getting dangerously close to the button. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Curse you piggies! No! <laughs> Bobber. Admittedly, the pigs are very unique enemies, giving them jetpacks so they can go anywhere. It is a pretty cool idea, it's just also really annoying. That pig was literally seconds from touching the button to make it dis the exit disappear. Don't appreciate that! That oil sure looks slippery! Hey, Billy Goats! I just realized the big Billy Goats and the Blobs are exactly the same, it's just the Blobs are more annoying because it's hard to tell where they're going to move. Uh, you stupid Billy Goat. Man, the goats really are just minding their own business. I appreciate that. I'm guessing that rose by the exit is going to be the key to the bonus level. I knew it! Oh, ice cream! I almost missed that. Alright, get out of here, you goats. What are goats doing in a greenhouse anyways? That's what I'd like to know. Get those guys for extra points. I will try. Alright, that one was easy. Cool! Thank you! There we go. It's always easy to just let the presents jump into you when you're standing still. Alright, time for the next world. Hey, there's a trampoline! Car Town Gas and Tires. You know, the second world in Bonorama. It's the third to last world in this. Yeah, so we're jumping on these stacks of white tires. And in that case, it can be a little tricky sometimes to tell whether you've gotten the bone off of a platform. But not too bad at all. Especially once your eyesight gets a bit better. Thank you. Oh, darn you! This world will also introduce the last and most difficult enemy of them all. But, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, the blobs are not the worst. They're close, but not the worst. Woohoo! Whoa, this is getting harder! Yep, that's the last enemy, the hedgehog. They're like the bears, except they jump, like, twice as fast. So they give you no warning when they're about to jump. As such, they can be very, very tricky. And it's also very hard to jump through them. In fact, they can jump faster than you can. Thankfully, they seem to be friendly. For some reason, you lose a life if you touch them, even though Pep seems to enjoy it. Okay, whew! Pass the hedgehog, things should be good. Oh, 
I'll just wait for the goat to jump on the button. And there we go. Cool. Hedgehogs aren't too bad as long as there is only one of them. Look before you leave, pet. Well, of course I will. You have to look before you leap in this game. Alright, but look at that max high score we have. We're only we're almost up to 30,000 points. Ice cream! And hedgehogs! Don't forget about hedgehogs! I don't think they can go for teleporters. Which is both nice and not nice. They also are completely random in their movements, so if they're right next to you, they're not going to exclusively go towards you. They're just minding their own business. Wow, I jumped for the hedgehog. It looks like the hedgehog and I jump at the same rate, but the hedgehog actually does jump slightly faster. Which can really catch you off guard. This doesn't look that bad, unless there are beach balls coming that I don't know about. I feel like beach balls kind of disappear after the halfway point in the game. Woohoo! 30,000 points! If I could end the game with 20 lives, that would be great. Oh no, goat! Whew! Thank you, goats, for being very nice. Ah, uh, goat, are you kidding me? Yeah, goats headbutt you if they touch you, so don't touch them. Yeah, I, I mean, I was trying to, but they move much faster on the green stuff than I do, so... There's only so much you can do. But again, these levels, like, they can be tricky at some times, but they're not, like, ridiculously hard. Which is nice, since it's a junior arcade, ages 3 to 8. I think I'm too old to be playing this game at this point, but I don't care, it's fun! Dog on it! Ho 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 ho! Catch those guys and score bonus points! Thank you, Putt Putt, I think I already got that. Thank you. Get back here, presents. Get back here. Woohoo! Got all six presents. Nice. Five levels left! Look before you leave, Pat. Thank you for your advice, Putt Putt. I, I kind of appreciate it, but it does get old after, like, 75 levels. Nope! I will show off this, though. If you die, you actually can jump through enemies at first. Okay, this goat's being a bit of an annoyance. Yeah! For real? Okay, this is gonna be- Oh, thank you! Thankfully, the goats are being pretty nice to me, so... I actually made it past the green part. No problem. No! The 
the designers are very nice in giving you super pep fairly frequently. I'm not gonna go all the way over just to get the ever goat. I don't want to have to go for the green stuff again. Plus, he was nice to me, so... Actually, no, not really. He was a kind of a jerk. We probably have to push that button. Easier said than done. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Those blobs look like some animatronics that were at one of my grocery stores I went to growing up. Yes, you heard that right. One of the grocery stores I went to growing up had animatronics. One blob brutally killed the other. I love it when that occasionally happens. Oh, if he jumps back up there, I can make him pay. Nope. He's staying away. Smart of him. Out of here, Blob! This is Pep's the game, not yours. Look out for the rascally critter! Oh, bother! <laughs> Narrow path with a Blob and a Hedgehog. This is gonna be bad. But you can make secret passageways. That's cool. What I'm gonna try to do? If I can lure the Blob on here. Yes! That's the key! Lure the enemies onto the platforms, and then shut the platforms off. Five points per bone. It's definitely worth going out of my way to get these bones, even if it does cost me a bit of bonus time. Okay, that level was actually pretty fun. You have to use strategy, but that, that's what makes it pretty cool. Leave, this strikes me as a beach ball level. Sure enough. Whoa, whoa what? Whoa. I can't remember if beach ball set off the buttons. I didn't want to find out. Yeah, the timing on the beach ball is having to jump through them is different from every other critter, so... Okay, beach balls do not set off the buttons. Good to know. I love how the stakes give you, like, 500 points. Alright, last level in the tire world. More beach balls? Really? I can tell because there's a blank platform. Oh, there's a beach ball on the last platform as well. Oh, this is gonna stink. This reminds me of the music in the airport from Toy Story 2 Action Game. A little bit. Knew that was coming. Bonus time! Oh. Whoa, this is Hurry interesting. Up and go catch all those presents. Uh, can't I just, like, stand here? Oh my gosh! That's so funny! And wow, that present warped backwards! <laughs> Easiest bonus level in the game! Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Dog on a Stick! Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. We only have one episode left. We can probably get the last 20 levels out of the way in that episode. So, the last two levels or worlds are gonna be pretty cool, so I hope you join in for those. They'll be a lot of fun. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless!